Charles Perry chairs a prison ministry, and he does outreach to juvenile centers. But before that, he himself was in prison for more than 20 years. I started to think about what would my legacy be, you know, because I didn't want to be sentenced to 25 years in prison, get out, die, and that's all people remember. At Columbia College, Perry joined five other speakers at a panel to speak frankly on what needs to be done about juvenile violence. Every time you see a, a, a horrendous crime, that person is 19, 20, 21 years old. There's no way he can understand what he just did. But nobody's talking about this. We need to shift the conversation because no one is saying, you prove to us that incarceration is an effective mechanism. That's just our default. That's what we do. Perry says it's sad that juvenile detention centers are pretty much the same as prisons. For kids who grew up poor and had little guidance as youth, the centers do not provide the skills for them to mature into responsible adults. Because I'm looking at young people that are not being taught or being in therapy or being uh, prepared to leave there. They're just sitting around, doing nothing, not being forced to be engaging. Perry still carries his prison ID with him to remind himself of the long nights in prison. And so I keep it with me just so I never forget, but I also use it as a tool to show young people. See, when you get one of these, you can cut your chances in half of being successful. After living by the criminal code for almost 25 years, Helping incarcerated juveniles is the new code Perry lives by every day. In the Loop, Rose Joe, Madeau reports.